friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is five easy steps to creating a positive habit. So if that sounds like something you're interested in hearing more about, please keep watching. So I wanted to create um, a series of videos really focusing on positivity and positive things. Um, the last, you know, the last several months have been crazy. <laughs> I think many of you can relate to that. And I was just in a place recently where I found myself just really focusing on negative things um, and just, just being in a negative place, even though there was so much positive stuff going on. It's just like, even though there were all these really good things happening, I couldn't get um, beyond um, some of that negative, the negativity that was just, you know, around me or just focusing on the negative um, that, I, that just happened to be, um, you know, happening in my life in the moment. And so it really got me thinking about, you know, what are the things that I can control when there seems like there's so much that's out of control around us? You know, what are some of the things that I can control? And um, one of the things that I can control are positive habits that I create. Um, I think, you know, throughout our, our journey with coronavirus and, and COVID and the environment that we live in now, it's easy to create lots of negative habits. Um, and I think we found, you know, myself and, and my family, we found ourselves doing that. Um, but then I got to a point where I was like, I don't want to focus on these negative habits. I really want to focus on the positive and what can I do to cha either change some of these things that are happening or create something new that's positive. And so, um, so that's when I decided <laughs> I'm gonna create a positive habit. And what really, what really drove me to do this was, uh, one of the things was since we've been working from home and I'm very grateful that, that we are working from home, uh, I'm just not moving that much, right? Because we are not uh, commuting anywhere, we're not having to walk into work, walk around work, walk to meetings. Um, and so I decided that I was gonna create a positive habit of going for a walk in the morning. And so it started out easy, right? Or I wanted, I wanted it to be easy, um, but I, you know, there were some struggle and I had to really think through, okay, why am I doing this? What is gonna get me out of bed in the morning? Because <laughs> that's probably the hardest part. Um, you know, what's gonna keep me motivated to keep doing this? And so I came up with a list of a few things that I think um, hopefully might help you out as well. Um, let me know if they do. And uh, if there's something that, you know, that really resonates to you that maybe we can explore a little bit further, um, let me know that too, because I'm happy to um, dig a little deeper on some of these. But so the first thing that, so the first thing I did was decide, okay, this is the positive thing I'm gonna do. And so I was really setting the intention. Um, you know, thinking about why I wanted to do this, um, and this is really where it all starts. And so my why for getting up and going for a walk in the morning was really just to move more, just to, um, you know, get that 10,000 step mark. Uh, because before, when I used to commute into work um, and actually physically go to work, it was easy for me to get 10,000 steps between, you know, running around work and, and you know, just daily life and, you know, going to and from the gym, you know, this is apart from just working out. And so, um, you know, so that's really why I wanted to do it. I wanted to, you know, just get more steps, be moving more, be a little more active. Um, so setting your intention, step one, why do you want to do the thing that you want to do? And remember that because that is going to help you and motivate you through the rest, especially for when it gets tough, right? And when we don't want to get up in the morning. Um, the next key step I think is committing yourself to a time. So many of us, you know, we're all super busy. <laughs> we're all oversubscribed. But if something is important to you, you will make time for it, right? Um, we make time for, you know, watching our favorite shows. We make time for spending time with our kids. We make time for um, the things that are important to us. And so making that space is super important for you to be successful. Um, so you have to create the space, especially when it seems like there is no space. Maybe, maybe your schedule is already really packed and you're like, where am I gonna fit this in? So it's easier for me to wake up earlier than make time at the end of the day. So I decided to wake up 
um, an hour to 45 minutes earlier than I was and I committed that as my time um, because the rest of the day is full of stuff <laughs> so it was easier for me to carve out the time earlier in the day um, basically before the day even gets started um, and for one it's uh, it's not as hot <laughs> as it is because uh, we're in Texas and the heat is is a real thing right now um, here in July and so it's not super hot um, it's before the workday starts, so there's nothing that's going to get in my way um, to disrupt, you know, my ability to go for a walk. And um, and yeah, especially if you have kids, you know, maybe your spouse is still at home, and they can and they can watch your spouse or your spouse can watch your your kids while you go off for a walk. Um, so that that makes to me the the morning time was perfect um, because all of those things aligned for me. So the next step is really to hold yourself accountable. Um, you know, there's a lot of ways you can do this. Um, I think we could have a whole session <laughs> on holding yourself accountable, right? Um, one thing that I like doing, so another, and I'll get to benefits, but I feel like the benefits are kind of sprinkled in throughout this whole this whole process. Um, but so, you know, the, one of the ways I was holding myself accountable was, uh, and it's actually a benefit that I'm gonna mention, uh, is you know taking pictures of sunrises like I love the colors of the sky in the early morning and so that was a, motiv a motivator for me and a benefit for me of getting up early was to be able to see those colors in the sky and take a picture of it so it makes me accountable um, you know I think I think I can probably have a whole collage of various <laughs> sunrises and I'm gonna you know post a few pictures in this video too of um you know just the beauty uh of of it um you know but that's one way you can hold yourself accountable take a picture so you know lots of people that are, are getting into fitness they get into fitness uh for the first time or or for a while you know they, they help those they hold themselves accountable by taking sweaty selfies or you know when whenever you do some major accomplishment right and you you want to document it somehow so taking a picture posting it somewhere even if you just keep it for yourself and you don't even post it anywhere at least you have that record and you can go back and see the progression and see how many sunrise pictures you have or beach pictures or you know um, set, sunset pictures or whatever the pictures might be your sweaty selfie pictures but you can see the progression and you know see how many how many you have you know and and really be proud of of all your hard work and your effort so you know holding yourself accountable is is important because you know it makes you stick to something but you can also see like how far you've come because i think that's another thing that we lose sight of especially when we've been doing something for a while um you know i know i've i've made a few positive habits in my life <laughs> i think um I've, uh, you know, I've, I've picked up fitness. I've been committed to fitness for a very long time, eating better for a very long time, um, stop biting my nails. <laughs> like that was in itself, you know, breaking a negative habit. And I can go into that in a, you know, on another day. But, um, you know, seeing how far you've come is just as important as, you know, really setting the intention and committing the time because it really, it gives you a chance to appreciate, you know, appreciate and give yourself, you know, a high five, give yourself that positive feeling of, yeah, I'm doing this, you know, and I have been doing this and you can see it. Another way to, um, another great way to hold yourself accountable is meet a friend, you know, have a friend meet you, you know, for that walk or that run or that class or, you know, whatever that new thing that you're doing, have a friend there to support you, a spouse, a family member, um, you know, meet up with a friend. You can either, you can also use like different apps and watches and, and all kinds of things, especially if it's, you know, fitness related. There's all kinds of, of um, tools that are available to you now um, that can really help you track progress and, and see how far, you know, how many calories you're burning, all those good things. Um, but even if it's not fitness related, if it's just, you know, I want to start a blog, I want to start a YouTube video, <laughs> like all these things, like have a friend check in on you. Um, my, one of my friends just yesterday, my, one of my uh, very best friends, uh, her name is Trinity. She, she and I was, she and I were talking last night and, um, and she asked me, you know, how, how YouTube was going. And I was like, oh, you know, I actually haven't made a video in a while. And so she was holding me accountable, you know, and, um. And that really, you know, it reminded me of like, oh yeah, you know, I, 
I've you know made this commitment. I I want to keep doing this because it's important to me. And um, so having someone remind you of that, especially when it seems like lots of things are getting in the way, is is very um, can be very helpful. Uh, and that kind of goes into the next one about support, like having support. Um, whether that's you know friends that are helping you be accountable um, or if that's family you know a spouse brother sister cousin uncle <laughs> a pet you know maybe you want to take your pet out for um, you know more fresh air and maybe that's your goal um, you know having someone that can support you check on you and, and you know just be there when, especially when things get tough, like somebody you can lean on and say, hey, you know, I really wanted, I've been trying to do this thing, but I'm running into this obstacle, you know, someone to talk through it, bounce ideas um, off them about how to break through, you know, whatever the issue might be. And uh, so, you know, having that support, having someone that you can lean on, reach out to, have that person reach out to you um, to, to see how things are going, that can make, that can make a huge difference in creating a positive habit. And then my, uh, my favorite one is focusing on the benefits. <laughs> I think this is probably the easiest one. Um, you know, for me, getting up in the morning and going for a walk, you know, it has become uh, kind of my personal time <laughs> because in this environment that we're in, you know, being home, working from home, like home is no longer, you know, home is still a great place, you know, a special place, but it's no longer separate from a lot of things that it used to be separate from and so you know for me getting up and walking in the morning it's my time to think <laughs> before the day gets started um it also is a time for me to reflect on you know maybe things that are going going on that i haven't really had a chance to process um it's also a time for me like like i mentioned with the sunrise you know seeing the beautiful colors like that's motivating to me it's a huge benefit to me um i love listening to nature like it, it just reminds me of a lot of things um you know times camping with my grandparents and parents you know and uh hearing those nature sounds like it just takes me back to you know some really special moments in my life and so you know getting up in the morning you know reminds me of that and you know, watching the sunrise, observing, having the time to just kind of be quiet. <laughs> you know, there's lots of distraction, lots of um, you know, I don't want to say noise, but there's lots of you know stuff that that happens around us all the time. And sometimes we don't have an opportunity just to be quiet, you know, and just kind of listen to the stillness, listen, you know, to to what's around us and just take a moment to breathe, you know, and that's, I feel like those have been some of the biggest benefits uh, for me in getting up and walking aside from being able to hit my goal of 10,000 steps. Um, you know, it's amazing how walking for, you know, 45 minutes to an hour um, can really do that, you know, and, and it kicks off my day. Like I, I feel, I, I feel energized on mornings that either I can't walk because it's raining or, you know, there's something going on. I notice a difference now. Um, it's been about three weeks, um, maybe even four weeks now. Um, and I notice when I don't go for a walk, I feel like my mood in general is not as, um, happy and positive as it normally would be. And, and so, you know, being mindful of those benefits, I think, is another thing um, that support, you know, creating that positive habit. Because uh, once you start doing something and it really becomes, you know, a habit, like a true habit, um, something that you enjoy doing and something that you're doing, um, you know, on a daily basis, you know, it's, it's amazing when you notice, when you get to a point where you notice, okay, I haven't done this thing and now how do I feel, right? And, and I think that's kind of the, the, the point where you realize, oh, okay, I've made this a habit. <laughs> like this has now become a thing and you notice when you don't do the thing, right? And how that makes you feel. Um, so yeah, so creating a positive habit, uh, you know, I, I hope this, this was kind of a roadmap. Um, I think I was trying to create you know, just some simple steps to, to kind of get you there. Um, maybe you're in the same place. Maybe you're in a place where you feel like you need to move more or, you know, um, or just need to be motivated somehow. Um, these are these are some easy, easy tools, easy things to think about. 
um, when you want to start um, when you want to start something new, especially uh, for a positive habit. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you have any comments down below. Uh, I, I really, like I said, I really want to start a series of videos just on you know positive positive thinking, positivity, and I thought I'd start with a positive habit. So uh, thanks, thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.